fucking tits. Why am I messing up that rock? I messed up that rock twice in a row now. I thought I clicked on the heart, and that's why I pressed B. I can't believe I got a 107 shop exit. Okay, um, that's bad. I'm gonna go this way, actually. I'm not gonna go anyway. It's terrible, Ender. It's absolute dog shit. I get consistent 58s. It's so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, Slim. What a homie. Donating 69 bits twice. Oh, um, okay. I gotta think of this one. I'm trying to get better at my improv skills. I want to come up with a real setting, though. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, I moved to Wildwood, like, ten months ago. We live in the upstairs part of the condo, because we do live in a condo, and I was moving my shit in. We had to move so much shit out of the moving truck from our old house. Like, the place is, like, not really, really small, but it's, like, it's like less than half the size of my old house. So, I had to move all of my stuff from my old house into this small-ass part of the condo, right? It took a lot of work and time, and it hurt me, and it hurt everybody else involved, too. There was, like, nine people helping with the move. We had to move like this giant ass, like this giant ass dresser into my room. <laughs> he had to like carry it all the way up the stairs. And it hurt me a lot. It like actually hurt my arms a lot. Luckily I didn't have to do it alone. I did it with my cousin, my cousin Kevin. He's a G. And we lifted it up the steps together and it really fucking blew dick. And it was not good. But we eventually got it in my room somehow. The living room was basically like filled with boxes and that we couldn't like move. When I got the dresser in my room, then I totally forgot that all of my clothes were like stuffed in a bag. So then I had to go all the way downstairs to get the bag from the moving truck. Then I was like, where's my bag? So I went over to ask my mom. I was like, where's my bag? I thought I put it like right next to the dresser. And she said, I don't remember you bringing no fucking bag. You brought a bag for your clothes? Why didn't you just leave your clothes in the dresser? I was like, because I didn't want to have my dresser so heavy for me to pick up, all right? Because you have to bring it up two floors, and that's a lot. <laughs> so why do I have to do that? But I, I lost my bag, and I had no idea what to do. I really have to improve my shit. Um, it's hard to think on my feet, dude. It really is. It's so hard, and I don't want to. I don't want to like tell a story that's like two minutes long. Then the bag, uh, eventually. <laughs> Fuck. The bag was in the front seat of the truck, and it was in, like, one of the cup holders. Not one of the cup holders. Obviously, a cup holder can't hold all those clothes, but it was in, like, the, um, the, like, armrest thing. It was on the side of the house. So I was like, all right, cool. Now I have all my clothes, and that's nice. So then I took it up to my room, and I started putting all of my clothes away, and I took one of the shirts out. My Krabby Dick shirt. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a shirt that says Krabby Dicks on it, and it says Hung Low Dick on the back. It's a Japanese version of, like, like a seafood restaurant. That is a whole fact, Ender. Especially when the story's fake as hell. <laughs> So apparently my Krabby Dick shirt shrunk in the wash before we left because I washed all my clothes and then I put it in the bag and I wanted to put on my Krabby Dick shirt and then apparently it shrunk in the wash and it made me very, very sad. And I was like, are you kidding me? I have this souvenir shirt and it shrunk in the wash and it made me sad. So then I cried for like six days straight. <coughs> I tried to wear it and then I um, put a hole in the back. <laughs> And it sucked. But it was the only, like, I can't say it was the only clean shirt because I, I just did wash. Um, <laughs> this shit sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Wait, where was I? So, the shirt was, like, very ripped. It was the only shirt I wanted to wear. I wanted to wear it. I really did want to wear it a lot, but I couldn't because it was so shrunk. And then one day I was just like, what the hell? I'm going to wear it. It's not like anybody's going to care. So then I wore it, and then I went to the supermarket and bought six boxes of cereal, right? I bought six boxes of cereal. Uh, they were all Count Chocula. I really, really like Count Chocula. So I got some Count Chocula, and then as I was walking back, this homeless man, I don't know why I have to incorporate homeless men in my stories, dude. I did this in the last one, too. I don't know. I don't know what it is, bro. So then...
Okay, so then I got a homeless man and he looked at my shirt and he's like, he's like a bit smaller than me. He wears like a size like children's extra extra small. <laughs> That's basically the size. <laughs> So then he asked me, hey, um, I have all this money saved up so I can buy crack, but I just really want that shirt so bad. Can I buy it off you for 30 bucks? And I'm like, sure, dude. So then I give him the shirt, and then he tells me, oh, I don't really have 30 bucks. I just wanted the, I just wanted the shirt. And then he gets up and runs away. And I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, what a dick. What kind of person would do that to such a man? So then I go. Grab my shotgun and- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so- I'm just so unbelievably so upset. Miserable. I'm, just, I'm just way too upset for anything. My hands are sweaty. I can't play the game, dude! As if I could play the game already while telling this stupid story. That's a 410 moon grab, dude! <laughs> I got the homeless man, and then I, yeah, I shot him in the face. I totally forgot about that part. So then I shot him in the face, and <laughs> then I got arrested for three years. So that, <clears throat> I know, the homeless man's a dickhead. That's why I shot him. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm gonna run out of breath. <clears throat> Wait, so where was I? No, I shot him in the face, right? I got sent to prison for three years. And then one of my inmates was like really, really, really small. He's like the size of that, uh, size of the boss from Elf. You know, the one that makes like the children's books and shit. <laughs> so yeah, he was like the size of that, but he was like really, really, really buff. Then he shoved his fist in my mouth as soon as I met him. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> Why do you have the need to shove your fist in my mouth? And he's like, oh, I do it to everybody. It's just my thing. That's just what I'm known here for. I'm like, dude, what? Can't you just be known for something else? That's kind of gross. And he's like, no, that's just what I'm known for. If you're known for something, then you uh, you gotta man own up to it, you know? You gotta, like, build your reputation. So yeah, he just shoved his fist in my mouth. <laughs> It didn't taste very good, it tasted like a broccoli and dirt, or whatever kind of prison slop they eat there. I have no idea what they eat in prison, but it didn't taste good. <laughs> so then after that, I contracted herpes. I contracted herpes, and then they uh, they let me go free because I had herpes. So if, if you guys ever want to get arrested <laughs> for a little while, <laughs> If you guys ever want to get arrested for a little while just to see what it's like, you can stay in prison for like a week and then if you don't feel like staying anymore, you can just contract herpes. Then you'll be nice and dandy. You won't have to worry about being in stupid prison anymore. So then I came back. I came back to the condo. My parents were like, hey, what up? And I'm, I'm like, aren't you congratulating me for exiting prison? They're like, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot that happened. <laughs> It was a yikes, dude. They didn't even realize I was gone. I was so sad. But then they invited me to watch, like, that 70s show, because it's a really good show. And they really like, uh, the characters in there. They really like, uh, Red Foreman. When he gets to shove the foot in the ass, that's my favorite part of the, the entire show. When he shoves his foot in Hyde's big gaping asshole. <laughs> you guys remember that scene? God. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> But yeah, we watched that scene, and then I went to my room, and I went to bed. And then I woke up in the desert, because my family prayed a prank on me, and they were like, Haha, you're in the desert. And that's my story! <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys enjoy it? I hope so. God, I gotta pee. <laughs>